Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to tell you few small small but collectively large things that you should avoid in the interview. I am not going to talk anything technical here. For example, you should know TensorFlow, you should know deep learning, you should know all these things. Rather, I will tell you some easy to implement, easy to do things which will ensure that you increase your chances of selection in the interview or at least you do not repeat those things, those mistakes. Believe me guys, these are very common mistakes, very common things, very very important for freshers to know. So without wasting any time guys, let's start the discussion. First of all, I will tell you this video in three sections, okay. Section one is before starting the actual interview, which means uh, pre-interview, okay. Section two is during first 10-15 minutes of the interview and section 3 is towards closer of the interview. All these three sections you should take care of few things guys. Let me give you some examples of what you should do just before interview is starting or just when you are logging in. How do you increase your chances of rejection? I will give you some pointers okay. Number one, you join late for the interview. It may sound very small thing guys, but that is just a first impression that you are giving to the recruiter. Okay. And do not make these small, small mistakes in first impression. If the interview is at 12.30, try to join at 12.28 only. There may be some joining problem. There may be some bridge issue. There may be some connectivity problem, some internet issue. You never know, right? So just keep those two, three minutes in your hand. Number two. Don't look so casual in the interview. I have covered this many times guys. What happens if you look very casual? What happens if you come in a round neck t-shirt, you know, your hair is here and there and it's like you are just out of the bed, come for the interview. If you do these things, what happens is, I as an interviewer will get a feeling that you are not taking the job seriously or you are not taking my time seriously or you are not taking organization's time seriously. This whole interview process is not serious for you. Don't give this impression guys. Don't come in round neck t-shirt, some you know hair here and there your hair, bad audio quality, you are searching for mic during the interview, you are joining from a mobile phone, uh, you are joining with you know very busy background people are passing here and there, you are adjusting the things during the meeting. Don't do all these things in the beginning. It will create a bad first impression. Third thing that you should do or at least you should avoid is do not get impatient or aggressive when there is a technical glitch. I'll give you an example. Suppose interviewer is you are not able to listen to interviewer's voice for some reason. Okay. You have to be very polite and say, Hey, Aman, I'm not able to listen to your voice or you can type in the text box. I'm not able to listen to you. Could you please check from your side? Some people will be in too much hurry or they will be in aggression. For example, I can't hear you, uh, we have wasted 5 minutes, I have another meeting in 30 minutes, something like that. There can be a scenario where there might be a co-panelist joining and co-panelist might be 2-3-5 minutes late, okay? Politely wait for those 5 minutes guys. Do not show impatience, do not show your aggression, do not show your bad attitude, okay? All these things just before interview is starting. As they say, right, first impression is the last impression. First impression should be very good. Imagine guys, you are going to take an interview, there is a person sitting with proper dress, proper mic, proper camera setup, proper, you know, uh, connectivity, no technical glitches, a smile on the face, how will you feel? And other person sitting with, you know, some informal types, adjusting the camera, changing the camera position, joining from mobile, how will you feel? You have the answer, right? All these things before interview. Let's come to part two. The first 10-15 minutes, right? You can expect two obvious questions here, guys. First is, talk about yourself. And second is, talk about any of your recent project. Believe me, guys, these two questions are, you know, your base for the entire interview and a very good chance for you to crack the interview. What you should not do in introduction, let me tell you. Suppose I'm telling, hey, my name is Aman, I have done BTEC from this, this, this college and interviewer suddenly stops me and say, oh, you have done BTEC from that place. I was in that place for like three years during this time. 
you should take a pause you should respond to that and maybe you can involve in a conversation what i'm coming here to say is do not lose any chance of creating a rapport with the interviewer okay first thing second thing it should not be very scripted okay blah 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 then you go there you tell all those things and then you are done you are waiting for the question every time you wait for the question you give interviewer the chance to attack you remember this guys i keep this many times keep the ball in your court most of the times what is the meaning of that the meaning of that is drive the interview in your strength area now suppose i ask you explain your latest project and you just tell me yeah my latest project was a fraud detection random forest was fit i got 85% accuracy you are finishing in like 1 minute 2 minute of time and you are giving me chance to shoot more questions to you rather you should create a story you should you should try to involve the interviewer in your story okay try to create that rapport try to give them that confidence this guy has worked in a real time huge case try to create that base of your good interview okay try to drive the things in your area for example if you are strong in random forest working methodology talk more on that for example you can say uh, as you know ensemble model typically kind of bias variance trade off and you know ensemble model these are some of the shortcomings so we took care of the shortcomings in this way if you want the interviewer to ask you more python questions you can say random forest python implementation does not allow to do this so we wrote a custom function that will allow us to do this in python writing custom function is always little tricky we use this we use that what i'm saying here is drive the conversation in your strength area more you give the interviewer chance to ask his or her question you are in more trouble you are increasing your chances of rejection okay these are the two very very important things in first 10 15 minutes of the interview believe me guys if you do this much right beginning of the interview good impression first 10 15 minutes good rapo and good impression you are 70 to 80% done okay result is going to be in your favor if you don't do these mistakes which i am going to tell you now mistake number 1 some obvious question you can expect towards the end of the interview first why are you looking for a change now do not say very bluntly that i am looking for the change for the money okay all of us know that you no need to say that you need to say that in a very uh, what do you say politically correct way say that looking for a growth learning opportunities and then money is obviously a by product of our learning something like this right second thing do not show more uh, stiffness towards your work location what i mean to say is constraints do not show much constraints for example i am in bangalore i will say whatever happens i will not move not move to hyderabad or pune that is a constraint i understand in some people's case it might not be practically possible to move to other location normally try not to show constraint in location try not to show constraint in too much constraint i am saying in work okay if somebody asks you uh, so you are a machine learning data science guy uh we have a different kind of project some projects are kind of uh data analysis and python automation would you be able to drive one of these projects you should not say that my whole experience is in machine learning and ai i will not do simple data analysis or python automation try to give a mixed answer saying that i would love to work in machine learning ai given an opportunity i will even explore more in ai nlp space however if the organization demands me to work in these areas maybe i can allot some of my 20 30% of the time in these areas as well see these answers guys this is how you have to frame the answer okay just some examples next thing interviewer might try to push you in an uncomfortable area or uncomfortable zone let me give an example i will ask you okay so you are 10 years experienced person i want you to drive a team of 5 people and execute a project that might need 15 people how do you do that the person might say it it is not possible executing a project which needs 15 people with 5 people is not possible or the other way of answering is i will try to find out the matrices i will try to find out a good justification of why i need more people and then maybe i will request my team to work for that duration little longer hours and maybe they can take some comp offs they can take some leaves in coming month 
some kind of politically correct answer. So, in uncomfortable position, if they put you, don't sound aggressive, don't show your attitude. Okay? And fourth and important thing, guys, do not try to show your knowledge is more than the interviewer. Okay? Do not try to put interviewer down. Suppose, I tell you, I am interviewing you and I tell you that, yeah, you know, for some of my work, I directly go to Google and copy the syntax. You should not say that. You are copying the syntax from Google. That's not a good thing to do. I never do that or something like that. Don't do anything which puts interviewer in a, you know, you are putting them down. So these are few important points that you keep in mind, guys. Nothing was technical here, right? Just keep that in mind. Do not do this. The reason I am saying you this is, all these I have seen in my experience, people are doing this, okay? I am sure if you follow these guys, you will reduce your chances of rejection and increase your chances of selection in the interview. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet. Please share with your friends if you like this video. I will see you all in the next video guys. Drop me the topic you want me to cover in next video. Till then wherever you are, stay safe and take care.